Thanks for checking out this video. So um, it's not even done with April, and there's been a lot of good stuff to hit Shutter in April. Uh, but we're already going to talk about May. I uh, just got the email from Sean, Red Sean Redlitz at Shutter, and let's talk about what's coming in May. Uh, I, I, it doesn't look the same as April. April had a lot of crazy stuff because obviously Joe Bob, which when I'm posting this, Joe Bob is the next night. So be there, be square on that one. Also wanted to let people know I'm doing a live stream the night after on Saturday the 25th, and that is at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be discussing the movie The Cabin in the Woods, which I love. Show up if you would like to on my channel at that time, and we'll chat. Anyway, let's talk about what's coming to Shutter in May, and then at the very end after that, I'll talk a little bit about a preview of some of the reviews I'm going to be putting out on my channel so, yeah, if you want to stick around for that, whatever, if you're just here for the Shutter stuff, let's get to the Shutter stuff. So, first going over the Shutter Originals and Exclusives going up. Now, they only had one show of theirs that was hitting this month, other than, you know, Joe Bob at the end and uh, Season 2 of Wolf Creek, which I talked about in the review, um, or in the uh, preview for April. So, we, we're getting three, three, <laughs> three, Jesus. Uh, I just got done working, so uh, we're doing three for uh, May, uh, which two are Shutter Originals, one's a Shutter Exclusive, and here they are. So Z is the first one that'll be coming out Thursday, May seventh. Um, a couple is shaken to the core when their eight-year-old son begins hanging out with a creepy and ominous imaginary friend. Oh, sounds a, like a younger version of Daniel isn't real, which is available on Shutter right now. So. Interesting. Um, yeah, so Z sounds interesting. I'll check it out. Actually, this is the thing. I'm going to do, I'm watching screeners for all of the exclusives and originals for Shudder. So trust that when I'm talking about Shudder exclusives and originals, I will have reviews for them before either before they come out or the day they come out on Shudder. So you'll always be able to come to my channel to look for my no-spoiler reviews on those films to give you an idea if you should watch them or not. The next one they have, another original, is called Monstrum, and that is hitting May 14th, which is also Thursday. Uh, it's, it's the 16th century, the plague has taken over, and fear runs rampant in the streets. When rumors of a vicious beast roaming Mount Inwangsan, Inwangsan, okay, called Monstrum by terrified masses, begin to spread, fear turns into panic. In order to quell the rising panic, King Yongyong brings his most trusted general, Yoon Jiong, Gyeong, back from retirement. Joined by his daughter, Myung, uh, his right-hand man, Seong Han, and royal court officer, Hyo, Yoon Jiong, Gyeong, Gyeong, sorry, <laughs> sets out to find the mysterious creature. Is the creature monstrum real or a figment of the fearful masses' imagination? Will the people ever live in peace again? Um, very interested in this one. This sounds really, really interesting to me, and I uh, can't can't wait for that. Thursday, May twenty second, we are getting their exclusive. Uh, oh no, this one's also an original. Blood Machines. Um, two space hunters are tracking down a machine trying to free itself. After taking it down, they witness a mis mystical phenomenon. The ghost of a young woman pulls itself out of the machine as if the spaceship had a soul. Trying to understand the nature of this entity, they start chasing the woman through space. Inspired by the spirit of the 80s films and music, Blood Machines is a 50-minute, three-part sci-fi horror mind melter told in three chapters, scored by the synth wave artist Carpenter Brute. Interesting. Okay, that sounds really wacky and weird and interesting, and that's up my alley, so also interested in that one. And then the Shutter. Uh, exclusive that's coming, Confessional, which is hitting on May 28th. After two mysterious deaths at a college on the same night, seven students are blackmailed into revealing what they know inside a hidden confession booth. Their confessions unveil the truth, not just about the deaths, but about the confessional as well. I'm, I'm down. Once again, that one sounds interesting. I'm going to watch all of those. Like I said, I'm watching all of those on screeners. I will have the re no spoiler reviews out on my channel. Okay, so... Uh, we all know Joe Bob is happening, so that's going to continue every Friday. I believe it's going 10 Fridays total, double features every Friday night starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So B 
be there or be square. It's going to be fun. Wolf Creek Season 2 premieres on April 30th, just so everyone knows. Uh, I didn't see the first season. I'm not sure I'm going to watch that one. Uh, so anyway, May 1st, Angst, the movie Angst, which I've been meaning to watch this one. So I will put that on my list to watch. When a psychopath is released from prison, he hunts for fresh victims to torture and kill. Ahead of his time, director Gerald Car Cargill's little-known study of a sadist at work is unrelenting in its depiction of depravity, anticipating Hun Henry portrait of a serial killer, man bites dog, and thanks to... Oh no, I can't even say the camera worker's name. Uh, <laughs> his disorienting camera work, Gaspar Noé's Twisted Films. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in that one. I've heard good things about it, so that will be on my list to check out. Also on the first, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. This movie is awesome, awesome, awesome. I actually have a review for it on my channel. Check that one out. Um, I'll read it because some people might not know it. In this clever mockumentary, a camera crew follows an aspiring slasher movie killer as he prepares to slaughter a group of teens. Leslie Vernon always dreamed of joining the ranks of Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, and Freddy Krueger. But if he wants to become the next great psycho slasher, he's got lots of preparation to do. Awesome film. I cannot recommend that enough. You'll love it. And watch my review, though. Satan's Slave. While mourning the death of his mother, a troubled teen discovers a nightmare world of restless spirits, supernatural vengeance, and occult terror. Maybe. Maybe on that one. The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. An unfaithful diplomat's wife finds herself hunted by a razor-wielding sex maniac while simultaneously hunted by her own depraved desires. Yes. That sounds very weird, very out there. I will check that one out for sure. May 4th. These are all May, May 4th. Crave. Aiden craves a meaningful life where he can escape the hard streets of Detroit, fall in love with the perfect woman, and save the world from evil. As his dark imagination starts to leak into reality, he meets a younger woman with her own dilemmas and desires. Estranged from her boyfriend, she explores an uncertain relationship with Aiden, who becomes increasingly emboldened to live out his vigilante fantasies. Edward Furlong's in it. Now I know I'm going to watch it. I Oh, also Ron Perlman. That looks good. Okay, I'll do that one. Now the next one I remember when it came out and I had slight interest in, so I might check this one out. The Dybbuk. The 1960 television adaptation of Shalom Ansky's play about a woman possessed by a demon of mythical Jewish folklore. So I might check that out. Now this one I'm a little confused about. Tenebre by Dario Argento. It had been on Shudder, unless it cycled off like a month or so ago. I watched it not that long ago, like maybe two or three months ago I watched Tenebre. I have a review for that on my channel as well. Uh, you can check that out, but I highly recommend Tenebre. I'll read the, the little blurb on it for people who aren't familiar. When acclaimed New York crime writer Peter Neal flies to Rome to promote his latest novel, Tenebre, his publicity tour is cut short by a series of murders that come straight out of the pages of his book. In order to solve the mystery, they will need to look to Neil's novel to find out who is the real killer before the killer finds them. Tenebri is based on director Dario Argento's own experiences with an obsessed fan. And like I said, I have a review for it, so watch the movie and then watch my review for it. Um, it's a good one. It's, it's up there as far as um, Argento films go, for me personally. It's probably one of his goriest films, too, so if you're into gore, check that one out. Uh, then May 11th, Devil's Mile, a gang of ex-convicts take a dangerous and ill-advised detour after brutally kidnapping two young girls. As the captors speed away, events quickly turn out to be much more dangerous and sinister than they could have ever imagined. Sounds like it could be interesting. I might check that one out. Parasomnia. Unable to wake due to a rare sleep disorder, Laura resides in a psychiatric hospital. When a manipulative serial killer begins to take a sinister interest, a student attempts to save the sleeping beauty from falling into the murderer's clutches. Jeffrey Combs in it. I'm going to watch it. I'm all about Jeffrey Combs, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that one for sure. Hellraiser by Clive Barker. Don't even need to talk about this. You should know Hellraiser. Also, uh, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. Don't need to talk about this one. You should know it. Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2, the best of the Hellraisers. Obviously, I love Hellraiser. This is my signed 
by Clive Barker Japanese mini poster for Hellraiser. Um, and my little Hellraiser stand. I also have a Lament configuration over there that's very well made by Nightmares Unlimited. So, all about the Hellraiser. Check it out. Then, May 18th, Goodnight Mommy. Nine-year-old twin brothers await their mother's return home. When she comes home, bandaged after cosmetic surgery, nothing is like before, and the children start to doubt whether this woman is actually who she says she is. I remember reading a review on this one in Room Org Magazine, and it sounded interesting to me, so I think I'm going to check that one out. And I remember them saying that it was good, so. Here's a blast from the past. I know what you did last summer. I'm not even going to read the thing for that. If you don't know, I know what you did last summer. It's not like a great slasher film, but it kind of hit around the time of Scream and everything. Just watch it. It's, it's worth one watch, I'd say. The Dirties. Two best friends are filming a comedy about getting revenge on the bullies at their high school. One of them isn't joking. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay, here's one I really like. I will rewatch this when it hits Shutter because I've been thinking about wanting to rewatch this film. Turbo Kid. In a post-apocalyptic future, a young solitary scavenger obsesses with comic books. Um, comic books must face his fears and become a reluctant hero when he meets a mysterious girl. It's a good one. It's got Michael Ironside in it. He really phones it in, though, I'm going to tell you right now. But other than him, his terrible performance, it's a really fun, over-the-top movie. I quite enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of all to throw out about Shudder. I'm excited about that. Obviously, it's not as packed as some other months have been, but there's a bunch of stuff in there that I am definitely interested in checking out. So now, like I promised, I will talk to you about what's coming on my channel. Um, I know that... My review for In the Mouth of Madness, John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness is coming up. My review for the movie The Void is coming up. Um, I'm trying to think about what other ones I did. Look at my notes here. The Cabin in the Woods, obviously. I'm doing that live stream on The Cabin in the Woods, and then I'm re releasing the review that I already recorded for Cabin in the Woods. And the live stream and the, the video are going to cover different stuff, so... Just so you know, uh, I'm going to be watching uh, The Killing of a Sacred Deer by A24, and I'll have a review out for that one. Uh, Tourist Trap, the uh, 1979 David Schmoller film uh, that was produced by Charles Band. Tourist Trap, yes, I'm releasing one for that one. Uh, Satanic Panic is another one that's going to be going up. And I think that's all that I have recorded thus far that I haven't put out yet so yeah so those are the ones coming out and obviously I'll you know make decisions on some others that just kind of strike me in the moment and I'll put those out too also I'm going to be doing some um shorter videos where I'm going through some of my collection back here and I pulled out a few stacks of films um dvds and blu-rays of uh, I'm do three different categories one's going to be like the most extreme kind of out there films that I own uh, one of them is going to be, actually, the, the one is most extreme films, like most kind of like hard to watch, like over the top gore wise and stuff like that. So I'm going to go over those, the top ones that I own. Um, weird films, I'm going to go over like the weirdest type films that I own uh, that people may not know anything about. And then I'm also, my last one is I'm going to go over films that I own that I love that I have I don't hear people talking about enough and really want to make people aware of and say hey check these out so I'm going to be putting those out probably on Wednesdays coming up maybe starting next week maybe the week after that I don't know I'm going to figure that out but anyway that's what's going on with Shutter for May that's what's going on with my channel for May join me in all this and do the very important thing of hitting the subscribe button if you appreciate anything I do literally takes you a second totally painless and it can mean a lot for my channel. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to get more interaction with people here. But go ahead, put some comments down there. Let's talk about what's coming up for Shutter in this channel. Let's geek out about it. Let's talk. And then um, put a like up there. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you have subscribed, throw a like on it just to let me know you're still watching. But thanks for check uh, take this. Thanks for checking this out. Taking your time to watch it. I do appreciate that. And until next time, keep it brutal.